Hello, and welcome to our retail session at Next. Today, we're going to talk about how leading retailers are thinking about evolving product discovery, both in stores and online. I'm Carrie Tharp, and I lead up retail and consumer industry solutions for Google Cloud, looking after our industry strategy and what's on our product roadmap to help you solve problems in your business. I'm very excited to be joined today by Nancy King, who is SVP of Product Engineering at Target, to talk more about Target's Omni Journey. But first, let's talk a little bit about where we are in retail. So as we all know, 2020 was a pretty transformational year for retail, and it really reshaped consumer behavior. There was a big shift to curbside pickup. You had retailers trying to figure out how to streamline and automate pick, pack, and ship in store. Consumers were focused not only on convenience, but their safety. And there was a big shift to not only digital first, but in many cases, digital only journeys. What's been interesting about that is many of these trends are still persisting as we went through 2021. One big area, for example, is consumer focus on finding product in stock. So searching for a specific item in stock has grown significantly. And also curbside pickup. They want to be able to just drive by and pick that up. This meant that retailers had to rapidly evolve and make sure they could show their inventory availability, both from an online perspective and in stores. And if that curbside number looks a little low, that's actually compared to the 2020 to 2019 growth of 3,000%. So consumers definitely thinking on me and continuing that focus throughout the year. Another trend that we've also been looking at is search interest around near me. So it was not just is something in stock, but is a product near me? Are there services near me? Is a retailer store close to me? That was growing pretty significantly before COVID, but then online took over when the pandemic started. As the pandemic went on, you see this convergence of the growth rates between online and near me, really helping you understand that consumers are really thinking about that journey seamlessly as they've navigated through the year. Holiday is just ahead of us, and I'm sure you're all preparing. We do expect it to be more omni than ever. You have these surge trends you're seeing, but also as we talk directly to consumers, Many more consumers expecting COVID to impact their, their Christmas shopping this year less. They're expecting to go into those stores more. But what's more interesting here is also consumers stating 64% of them expecting and shopping Omni. So this is in-store and online combined and also using capabilities like buy online, pick up in store. This is important to note because most retailers, their most valuable customer is that Omni customer but it's typically only 10, 15, maybe 20% of your consumer base. And what this tells you here, coming out of the pandemic, these omni habits certainly have been solidified. So there's opportunity for your brand to go out and get that share of wallet from your customers and get them into a true omni shopping dynamic with you. Beyond just discovery and omni services, consumer expectations are constantly evolving, and that includes experiences. So consumers now expecting easier access to self-service, they want to have real-time assistance and personalized interactions, even if that's not with a person. So stepping up both your associate experience has become important, but how do you infuse technology and AI and ML to really meet the customer where they are, regardless of their part? point in the journey. From a Google Cloud perspective, what this means is we're focused on four key areas to help drive transformation in retail. First is helping you become a data-driven, customer-centric retailer. So truly pulling in all of that customer supply chain and product data and unlocking it for use in your day-to-day -day business. Second is omni-channel growth and digital growth. So everything product discovery and engaging with your customer in new digital ways. And then modern store. So what is the evolution of your store experience? How can you bring technology to change associate and customer engagement? Last is also enabling sustainable and efficient operations. We don't have time to go through all of these today, but I'll just highlight a few key areas where we have interesting products and capabilities coming to market. 
first is product discovery. We all know this is very important to conversion, both in stores and online. We've all done it. You've gone to a retailer's website, you've typed in a search, maybe you fat fingered that on mobile, maybe you didn't know the brand name you were looking for, maybe your kid was putting in a search, and you've gotten back potentially no results or maybe irrelevant results to what you were truly looking for. Evolving search capabilities could mean that that same exact search returns very relevant results that kick off an immersive shopping journey that leads, leads to conversion and getting that transaction. Retailers for years have asked Google, can you bring the power of Google search to our websites? So we did a little bit of research to say, how much is this still a problem for retailers out there today? And it turns out 95% of consumers said that within the last six months, they have experienced not relevant search results in their efforts on branded websites. It's a pretty big deal because 85% of those consumers actually said that that impacted their perception of the brand. And that over time, 74% said it, it, it impacts which sites they actually go and interact with. This leads to nearly $300 billion in lost conversion opportunity. Now, of course, this isn't all incremental, but it's share of wallet. You may be losing that customer, that current transaction and their shopping in the future, all because that entry point to their journey didn't go as well as they thought. This is a space where we then brought forward our product discovery solution suite to help solve for some of those challenges online. First is our vision product search in the suite. And so this is simply helping consumers be able to use images to find something in your product catalog, whether it's the same item or a similar item. It can also be used for associate enablement. Second is Recommendations AI. This is evolving our approach to recommendations. Recommendations that can pivot as the customer is changing their journey. So if they started looking at home goods and moved into fashion, you're providing the most relevant recommendations as they go. And then last, very excited about our retail search capability, bringing the power of Google search and bringing that natural language understanding to what the consumer is actually shopping for, creating the connections between how they shop and what they really mean without having to put kind of that rigid construct in place that merchants and online teams are constantly working on. So improving long, long tail search and search overall. Lots of retailers are using that capability today and always excited to talk to you about those products being in the market if you haven't seen them or demoed them for your business. Next is creating the modern store experience. So this is everything store of the future and what does it mean to you as an individual brand? We all know that the retail battleground still continues to be uh, dominantly in stores. 80% of transactions globally is still happening in that store environment. We're seeing store formats evolve. We're seeing digital natives come in and compete differently. Online and store teams starting to interact in new ways, especially coming out of the pandemic. And then of course, consumers coming into stores and online with new evolved expectations. From a Google Cloud perspective, we're focused on seven innovation hotspots for creating the modern store. There are literally hundreds of use cases you and your teams could be focused on in store, whether that's improving associate experience, changing customer interactions, serving up uh, offers and promotions while they're in store, to everything inventory. So working on uh, replenishment, omni fulfillment, improving checkout experiences. Where we're focused is really creating a platform for the future. So as you're growing into more use cases, you built both the platform in store for edge AI and ML, but also have capabilities that are advancing you on that AI and ML front. A couple of interesting things to call out from a Google perspective, I would say Google Glass and our vision platform. So from a glass perspective, you guys heard this launch several years ago, but it's really coming to life in the enterprise setting, both for visual training. So anytime somebody being kind of hands-on while being training might be important, as well as assisted order picking. So helping streamline that in-store picking process, helping people find things on the shelf 
uh, more quickly and being coupled potentially with our operational chatbots to help navigate your associates through the store to minimize that pick time. Google Vision platform is kind of everything vision in the store. So needing to have an eye on potentially shelf status to feed that into your inventory planning to improving shrink reduction at checkout. This really gives you capability to leverage our product knowledge graph and be able to ramp up your stores faster on the different vision use cases you might be thinking about. So lots of exciting things going on in the store space. But with that, let's jump over and talk about Target. So Target is a company that has been focused on driving new online, in-store, and associate experiences for years. They're not only a top-tier retailer, but also a top-tier engineering firm. So I'm very excited to have here with us today Nancy King, as I mentioned, who leads up product engineering from Target. She's had an expansive career at Target, covering all elements of the retail tech stack, including merchandising, marketing, stores, and e-com. Welcome, Nancy. I'm excited to have you here today. Thank you. I'm thrilled to be here. Great. Well, let's jump right in. Can you tell us a little bit about the journey that Target has been on and specifically your team's role in helping bring the roadmap to life? Absolutely. When you think about the omni-channel journey, it is really just shopping for our guests. They don't define it or see it differently, whether they are in store or on their couch uh, with our app. So we know our shopping experiences have to be top notch across every channel and every touch point. Target hasn't been shy in sharing our vision and strategy of stores as hubs in that omni-channel strategy. And it's really paying off. It helps power those seamless experiences that our guests expect from us. And our tech transformation has helped accelerate and scale that even further. We've invested really heavily in digital capabilities and our supply chain operations to blend the gap of online and offline shopping so we can pivot and follow our guests' demand and expectations. And nothing could have proven that further than the pandemic last year and the way shopping shifted. Technology enables our ability to scale for explosive growth. And when we were running at unprecedented levels, we also were rapidly building out new capabilities and introducing them to support safety and ease in shopping as everybody was trying to figure out what their new normal would look like last year. Things like our virtual line app, while stores were metering guests, expanding drive up and pickup, all of those capabilities help really bring the physical and digital retail experience together. And our product engineering teams that I have the privilege of leading are at the front and center of each of those experiences making sure that we are there for our team members, for our guests, for what they need today and what they're going to want tomorrow. Great, and there's been a lot going on in the pandemic and I know Target has really stepped up and evolved and expanded a lot of those Omni services. When you think about store of the future and now everything you've learned through the pandemic, are there experiences you're excited that your team is focused on and then also when you think about the associate and what that looks like and how you can enable them with technology, what are you thinking about there? Yeah, store of the future. It is a hot topic. Physical retail is not dead. Um, like I just said, stores are a key part of our strategy. We leverage them as hubs to get close to our guests, to get them what they need conveniently and quickly. We'll continue to focus on locally relevant assortment that uh, really reflects the richness and diversity of the communities that our stores are in. Um, and we use technology to elevate the store experience for our guests. Think more in-store circ in circle offers um, and gamification, additional ways to check out uh, faster and easier, um, and new ways to discover and engage with products. Uh, think capabilities like augmented reality and being able to see that uh, couch or dresser you're considering in your room um, while you're in the store or while you're at home. Uh, we invest in new engineering and technologies that enable our team members to be more engaged um, and efficient in their roles so that they can be on the sales floor helping guests, not in the back room looking for product. And all of that is powered through our homegrown technology. 
when our guests are outside the store, we want them to be able to use technology to recreate the joy of finding that like magical item that you always walk into a Target store not expecting and walk out with it in your basket. And so technology and data sciences really help with that concept of digital discoverability. Things like relevancy, personalization, being able to help you find what you didn't know you were looking for in an endless set of pages and digital experiences. For me, I'm most excited about how we use technology to enrich the physical in-store shopping experience. People are excited to get back into stores um, and try things on and touch and feel and interact with product. And we can use technology in so many ways to create an even more enriching shopping experience. Now, you also asked about technology and how we use that to support our associates, uh, which we call team members at Target. Um, and for me, this is, this is a really critical part of how we use technology to put the team member at the center of delivering that great guest experience. We think of technology as giving our team members superpowers to help them deliver on the expectations our guests have when they walk through our front door. It is best used for us when it helps put the team member at the center, not replace them. So we use technology to improve their experience, to make their jobs easier and more efficient. This is true at our stores and for our HQ teams. Technology and data sciences improve the experience of all of our team members, taking the drudgery out of uh, everyday tasks. It lets them spend more time on what they enjoy and being more productive with their outcomes. And we also do this for our own tech team uh, with this mindset. Our engineering enablement teams exist to serve our engineers in infrastructure, in product, in security, so that they have what they need to continue to deliver awesome capabilities for our guests and our team members. That's great. It sounds like you guys have a lot going on, many projects and, and new experiences. How do you think about cloud in that context? And how is your team thinking about both the combination of infrastructure related to new products you may be bringing to market for both your guests and your team members? Well, you've been in retail a long time too. You know as well as I do, scale matters in retail. There are a handful of days in the year that stretch your capacity and keep you on your toes um, when you're in the tech team. And the cloud is key to efficiently and reliably scaling for those peak times especially when a year like 2020 happens and we see Cyber Monday traffic on a random Tuesday. For us, having well-defined standards is critically important. We can't run fast if we're all running in different directions. We have a clearly defined flexible architecture for all of our services and capabilities. This creates an environment for hundreds of teams to innovate at their own pace and in their own space. There's an incredibly strong partnership between product engineering and infrastructure. Target's infrastructure is what powers and creates the foundation for the product innovation and our ability to roll it out at scale. It's one thing to create a new capability. It's an entirely different thing to roll it out to 30 million people the following week, which is another key benefit of the cloud, elasticity. The elasticity and reliability from Google Cloud alongside our own infrastructure and architecture allowed us to smoothly scale nearly overnight last year when all of a sudden uh, people's shopping habits changed and we were seeing 700% growth in some of our services, quite literally overnight. Partners like Google Cloud and with the partnership of our internal system stability and infrastructure teams, we really are able to focus more on serving our guests because we can rely on great partners to keep us operationally uh, functioning and scaling to probably even greater heights this peak season. Definitely. And as you're bringing up peak, just kind of thinking about how does your team really get ready for peak? What are you focused on now? And any key trends Target is watching as you head into this year's peak season? I wish I had a crystal ball, um, but we know neither of us do. Uh, so I I think this holiday season will start earlier and last longer. Similar to last year, things spread out. Uh, we start to see promotions coming into the calendar earlier. We start to see that excitement of the holidays starting earlier and earlier. 
Christmas is overlapping with Halloween a little bit sometimes now. Um, Target will be there for our guests' extended shopping holiday needs uh, wherever and however they want to, except for Thanksgiving Day. We will still be closed this year, uh, similar to last year. We're seeing continued pent up demand for newness um, and finding new ways, little ways uh, to celebrate and to find joy in everyday activities, to celebrate together now that um, people are coming together uh, more frequently. There's also a, a return to more in-person shopping. We're seeing guests shop inside at accelerated rates. We'll continue to focus on delivering those experiences in person and safely um, online, knowing that that will continue to be a top of mind over this holiday season. From a tech standpoint, we learned last year that we can handle peak season virtually. In retail, we're used to these big war rooms. We'd camp out for sometimes weeks on end to make sure that everything was flawless for our stores and online in those key peak days. And last year we did that completely virtually and it worked fantastic. Uh, so that's something that I'm personally excited about. Uh, we will again be virtual um, in partnership with your teams and many others to make sure that our peak season is flawless. Um, and it was great to be able to spend the first Thanksgiving that I can remember in many, many years with my family last year um, and, and not in a war room because we can make it all happen virtually. That's great and great to hear. Glad that your team members will get kind of another uh, break on Thanksgiving this year. Thank you so much for sharing your insights and really for Target's wonderful partnership with Google Cloud. Thank you everybody also for joining us in this session and be sure to look for more retail resources online and check out our retail playlist that will help guide you through the various retail relevant sessions at next. Thanks so much.